Okay, in this presentation, we're going to look at look uh, working with R and Plotly together. Okay, so this is the Plotly website, plot.ly. Okay, visualize data together. Plotly is the modern platform for agile business intelligence and data science. Okay, so um, I mean it's a paid account, but it's a it's a paid platform, but there is sort of free trial membership type things, or community memberships that's free. Essentially. You know, it's really just to get a taster of it, but I think it's actually quite good because it's sort of if you're into data visualization, uh, that you want to sort of you know you might be at a job interview and they might ask you t show us something you've done you know, uh, give a taste of your work. So you might be able to use this as a sort of portfolio. That's why I'm a sort of a big fan of it. Okay, so I'm on the Plotly website and I'm going to uh, sign in. Okay. Um, it just I, I have it sort of bunched up a bit here to make the uh, website just to make it easier to read so I'm gonna sign in okay and I have a github account so I'm gonna use my github account to sign in I think you can actually use that as a login so I'm gonna log in there with my github account this is the icons at the bottom okay so I'm just gonna pause the video because I don't want you seeing any um, anything any personal information so I'm just gonna pause the video a bit for a second so I can log in so this is my um, gallery so to speak okay and this is like a, something I made very recently so it's a, a mixture of plots data sets and so on okay and you might notice I'm gonna click on this one here this is just one I used in the workshop yesterday just a so I'm going to uh, view this. Okay. So this is just one of my uh, projects. Okay. It's a very simple box plot. Okay. You mean you notice that's quite interactive. Okay. Now, um, so there's the data me used to make it. It's a little bit hard to tell there, but you can just uh, move, have a look around at it. There's the code there as well. So that I think that's a really a co. Um, you know, if you want to sort of develop your code skills, I won't get into the code, okay? And so on. Now, um, there was another one here. Okay, so actually, you, you, I, I, it's best you sort of see that yourself, okay? Just up at the top here, I have a little personalized URL. So it's sort of the same name as my GitHub account, Dragonfly Stats, okay? And uh, Plotly tilled Dragonfly Stats, okay? So if I was a, you know, ask them doing a job interview and just like this said you know show me some of your work or you could just put it in your cv or something like that uh as a line on your cv okay and here's a project i've done so um what i'm going to do here now i'm just going to sort of cut to the chase is i want to sort of see how i can use plotly for or r and plotly together okay now this is important so i'm going to zoom in here on the settings okay so I want to be able to actively use um, Plotly uh, through R and R through Plotly, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Settings, Dragonfly, Stats, Settings, okay? And I'm the, my current plan is the Community Plan. Uh, is access basic features and unload unlimited public data, okay? So, but what, this is the important bit now for me, the API keys, okay? So I'm going to click down there, okay? Now that's my username, and if I was to uh, essentially generate a key, so I'm gonna pr I, if I press that button, something would pop up. So uh, press that button there, and a little code comes up just underneath. Okay, now, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go to R, okay, and I have Plotly installed. Now it's actually quite a big installation, okay. So Plotly uh, library, or actually just like that, let's make that a little bit bigger. And uh, group, going to GUI preferences, bold. So of course, library Plotly, okay, ready to go. Now, I'm just gonna use, there we go, and just it's all ready to go. So what I'm going to do here is, this is just some lines of code here. So what I'm going to do here is I have to just log in and it's capital sys dot set env plotly username equals 
XXX and mine will be Dragonfly stats obviously and the API key is that a bit of code to access it that you, when you press regenerate key uh, it has something there okay so then what I'm going to do here is actually make a little plot so actually first off let's just actually see what a plotly plot can do okay so plot underscore ly midwest um, x equals per college color equals per state type equals box uh, I'm not going to get too much into what that does it essentially generates a very nice plot and you give it a name there p what's going to happen is that's going to come up in my browser there there we go and it's a, it's a bunch of box plots and it's very interactive and stuff like that okay um and you can sort of uh, zoom out a few it's essentially interactive box plots so i just uh deselected illinois and iowa and just looking at other two states there as well um it, that's a uh, really really cool i really like it um there's uh, loads of other things you can do here now i just made this in my home pc or my home laptop here okay and you're just going to shut it off so it's saved as an object there um using a very simple line of code p okay and it just saved as p okay so i have that on my local directory but suppose i want to add that to um my um plotly gallery okay so that i can share it and you know potential re recruiters could see it so the thing here is now i've logged in okay so I've done this uh, Dragonfly stats and I put in my password there, okay? So I have to do that step as well. Now this is obviously not going to work, but if I was to uh, put that, uh, or actually I won't do it in, or, well, I'll just do it here because I have it done already. So what I'm gonna do is you just have to sort of access the API keys and so on, okay? Now, that won't work. I'm actually sort of locking myself out at the moment, okay? Now, and then I'm able to transport, uh, like upload my, file name p i'm going to give it a, a name a midwest box plots and sharing equals public you can go sharing equals private and sharing equals secret okay but probably if you're a beginner or a novice or something like that probably public is what you want but probably you just want to sort of show off your work so to speak and now the command here is api create underscore create now this is important actually sorry that's an important part there, just to actually create the link between the, the, your local PC or your local laptop and the cloud-based uh, server that Plotly is running on. So API create. Now this is a, an important matter. Uh, I just noticed that Plotly has undergone a lot of changes lately. Okay, So I just noticed that the current version is very recent from me. Okay. So that's just just about two or three weeks ago. So it seems to have changed quite a lot. Okay, uh, Plotly create interactive web graphics via Plotly.js. Okay, now actually, just as a remark, you can do this for R and other things as well, or Python and other things as well. It's not just for R. You can have a gallery, a multiple gallery, uh, multiple uh, languages in your gallery. Okay, so yeah, just sort of keep an eye on the latest uh, up uh, edition of. Um, the um, CRAN manual, okay? Now, so, ready to go. Now this, this line of code is actually not going to work for me because I just actually, I actually boxed myself out. So, if I was to run that, uh, what would happen is that something would come up in Plotly, just like I had there a minute ago, and I would, um, yeah, see that's, that's my error but what should have happened here is this is that um, what is it here the my gallery my files so what should have happened here is this would have popped up okay in my portfolio my plotly portfolio and it even got it's even got its own little URL that you can just sort of show to people or send to people if they want to see it okay and that's it and it's also quite interactive as well so that is um, using Plotly with R uh, just as a remark you can use it for Plotly graphics and ggplot graphics okay 
so there we go